Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Darcy Gandaga and today's episode is so important because we are talking about having a strategy besides YouTube for a podcast. Even if YouTube is huge and video is great, but the way uh, audio directory can put your podcast globally without even you trying is so powerful. I'll start, you know, my podcast, this one, you know, I started, you know, podcasting a long time ago, about 2005, producing for people. But right now, I just restart another podcast about a few weeks ago, and I'm already in 47 cities and 12 countries in four continents because I understand the syndication of the audio distribution. So a podcast cannot just be video. I don't want you to always think about, oh, I have a podcast, is a video studio, and me sitting with someone with a guest with some headphones and looking cute. A podcast is not just about the look, it's about really the reach of content. Let me repeat that. Podcast is about how far your content can reach. And I'm telling you, when it comes to the audio platform like Audible, Alexa, Pandora, Our Heart Radio, Spotify, Apple iTunes, there's no limit where your podcast can go, especially if you have a great strategy. But just having a podcast and calling a podcast and having your podcast only on YouTube, you're losing 75% at least of the potential of your podcast. Let me repeat that. Having a podcast only on YouTube robbing you of so many opportunities. So the next time you want to start a podcast, I want you to think long term. Make sure that you add a website to your podcast. It means that where people can have information about you, about your podcast, little story why you start a podcast okay what type of value of you know uh, consulting services products maybe in-person event virtual event are coming from the podcast and something else make sure that you have enough content where you can really teach on your podcast broadcast on your podcast without a guest because you're not going to be able to have a guest all the time even if it was a business model to have a guest all the time sometimes you can have repeat guests the second mistake do not invest in a video studio at the beginning of your podcast if you don't have the resources for it let me explain having a studio where you fly you know a guest in from another city or sometime another country that if you really look like the, looking on um the platform and who are the people doing it is seven, eight, nine figures entrepreneur. If you're a six figure entrepreneur and you haven't started having success on your podcast, I don't advise you to take money from your business and to build a video to your podcast until you have loyalty from the audience coming from the podcast. When you can track where they're coming from, what they need and stuff like that. Then eventually, according to the return on investment, then you can take a portion six to nine months down the line and eventually having a studio podcast if you want to all you need you need a nice microphone and a good topic and be able to have a great distribution syndication of your content to start a podcast now monetizing a podcast is a whole other story it takes time discipline strategy and make sure that you have a niche market okay that is so crucial and so important so I want you to listen to this and to ask yourself, that, okay, coach, so if I cannot, if I don't need a video podcast to start, how can I start? What do I use for a distribution? How I can put my content in all um, audio podcast directory? What type of software do I need to use or even to mix or cut my voice? Or like right now, I'm on a video, how I can transform a video into an MP3 format. All this type of information, I give it to you. It's what I call how to create a global content monetization system. I will give you exactly what you need, not only to start the podcast, but to make sure you have a global distribution and have a website who's attached to the podcast so you can track in real time sometimes how many people listen to you, where they're coming from, and make sure that you build data while you build your podcast. 
those things are going to help you determine six to nine months after the launch of your podcast if you are in a position for you to monetize your podcast. But do not start a podcast just to start a podcast and have some cute couches and microphone and think that you're only going to put that on YouTube without tracking who's listening to you and have a growth strategy in place. That's going to change everything, okay? So I just want to make sure that you understand what I'm talking about. Think about it, listen to it, and make sure that you join me for my next episode. I already have a few episodes on my podcast, Reformation Leadership or Darcy Ogandaga, available in every audio platform where you can listen to a podcast. Give me a shout out. Come to my website, Reformation Leadership, and make sure you let me know that you listen to me. By next week, you're going to have a gift over there, okay? So make sure that you do whatever you have to do to join the podcast. And there's so much value, so much courses, so much juice that I teach in details every Thursday night live inside my paid community. So make sure that you send me an inbox, send me a message to make sure that you want to join the community so you can go and apply and make sure that you will see me live teaching for 90 minutes at least every Thursday. I answer a question, I share my screen. So I answer a question about global marketing, about uh, how to monetize your book, your online course, how you can speak different languages, how you can reach the French market, the Spanish market, the Arabic market. It's so important when you can put your content in multiple languages and you have the right strategy for each continent, have the ability to do seven world tours like I did with my family, I mean, that's something else to be able to sell your books, your content in euros, in pounds. And I'm telling you, it's just it's going to change your life to be a true global entrepreneur. That's where we're going. That's what God asked us to do, to go ye to all the world, all the ethnos, and be able to witness Christ, but witness your business and to add your voice so you can transform lives and add value. So they can figure out what they're supposed to do, living a purpose-driven life. And why they're doing it? Learning how to monetize their gift, the God-given talent that God put on the inside of them. There's a way to franchise your mind and to create what I call a digital headquarters. So people can get in contact with you globally on your website.com. It's good to have Amazon, it's good to have all the social media outlets, but just in case, you know, they bugging, disappear, or block you, you need to be able to have your own digital headquarters where people can always come, that come for you, for what you have to offer, what you have to say, and they can, over there, access the content freely, 24-7, with a structure that you deserve. Thank you so much. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.